guys, today is December 10th, 10 days into Walmart. Um, I kind of can hang with this Walmart thing. Anyway, I'm up I'm in the bathroom, I'm about to take a good old shower so I can get ready for work. Then I'm going to wake the kids up, they can get ready for school. I have no idea what I have for for today. Whatever it is, it's going to get done. I'll see you guys a little later. Okay, so the kids are officially up. I'm officially out of the shower. And my face and stuff is all clean. Um, so, basically, I'm always in this closet. Um, I really need to redo it. But I'm about to find something to wear to work today. I'm about to find something to wear to work today. I have no idea what... I'm going to wear. I used to add my clothes for the week. And um, I normally dress up for work. But these last two months, because I'm staying inside the job, um, I can wear jeans. So, so a lot of my clothes are dress clothes because I dress up for work. So, it's hard for me to find something to wear because I'm always in dress clothes. I got one more long sleeve, like flannel left. Before I need to wash. I'm going to show it to y'all. Because I am obsessed with flannels. I think I got them in like every color. And I get them out of the men's section. So this flannel right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I normally get these out of the men's section. Um, I got this from Walmart. But I get them from Old Navy. From Walmart. Some are everywhere. These shirts are amazing. I normally just put them on with jeans. For work. Um, so I think I'm going to wear this one today. Alright. We have officially made it in this cold, cold cold car it is 15 degrees outside in chicago today oh my god that is freaking ridiculous look at the windows dad got up this morning and made everybody breakfast i'm just now eating i'm just now eating man test it mommy it's a little cold now what you gonna eat it i ate it first but bread i mean the edges are up right so anyway, we're in the car, waiting on the kids' school bus to come, and Dad got up and made everybody breakfast today, because this is his only day off during the week. So I'm trying on grilled cheese he made. It's actually not bad. I just let it get cold, but it's not bad. The, okay, so the kids are officially on their school bus. I normally wait for the school bus to pull off before I drive off. Um, they have to be at school at the same time that I have to be at work so I don't take them to school. They do get on the school bus. Um, for the most part, he's on time, but today he is extremely late. Um, so, I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to drive off and then I'm going to head out so I can get to work. Sometimes drivers just don't have no consideration. When you're on the street driving, you're driving for everybody, not just yourself. So to be inconsiderate and to drive stupidly, something is very wrong with the society today. So I literally have 10 minutes before I got to go on this job. And this is the time where I sit, I pray, I think, and I get my mind together before I walk in. Because, you know, when you walk into a business or a workplace, there's so many different personalities, so many spirits that's in there. So you have to gather yourself before you go in and do or say something that you're not supposed to. So I always pray before I go in because without God, me as a person alone, going into a situation like my job because there's always something petty going on, I wouldn't make it. Like I just wouldn't make it. So I'm about to pray. Um, then I'm listening to a few more songs and then I'm going inside. On my way to go and get some lunch for work today. I should have brought leftovers, but I was rushing. I went to bed late and I got up this morning late rushing. So I'm on my way to Wendy's to get me a spicy chicken sandwich. Um, next year I plan on doing only liquids and fruits during the daytime like while I'm at work and then at night I mean for dinner just having one meal a day so basically next year what I'm planning to do is 
only drink like smoothies and water and have like fruit throughout the day while I'm at work and then when I get home eat my one meal not like devour a big old stupid meal but like literally eat one meal so basically what I'm trying to do is take my intake from meats twice a day to only having meats once a day um, I know what I need to start I just need to get motivated and not procrastinate and stick to it you get what I'm saying like I start stuff and I don't I don't stick to it and then I procrastinate and I make up excuses I'm 33 years old. It's time out for all these excuses. It's time out for all this procrastination. I need to get on it. I'm not having no more kids, so I might as well just go ahead and stick to this and lose this weight. Once I get this eating now, then I'm going to get back in the gym. You know, New Year's come around. They always got some type of special. So my plan is to find some type of special. I want a gym with a pool. If anybody knows a gym that has a pool, leave it in the comment section down before below because I'm looking for a gym membership that has a pool. I want to get in the pool. I want to learn how to swim. And I heard water exercises are really good exercises. Um, but besides that, I'm going to find whatever mem gym membership that that's going to give me a deal starting the new year. I'm hopping on it as long as it's close to my house. I'm, I'm ready to do it. But see, I refuse to go to the gym and not eat healthy. Losing weight is 80% diet and 20% workout. It, makes no sense for me to go and work out and I'm still devouring big old cheeseburgers and french fries like all this fried food and all this meat. Meat is good protein but I feel like I eat too much of it and that's the reason why I say I'm going to start by just doing one meat a day and then eventually I want to learn to eat seafood like fish and stuff like I'm just so picky I don't like the smell of seafood I don't like fish, so I'm going to try my hardest to learn how to eat seafood, learn how to cook and prep it and all that good old stuff. So I got a lot on my plate. I just hope that I can get all of it done. Like, literally, I hope I can get all of it done. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, tired, I'm tired of the excuses. I'm tired of the procrastination. It's just time for me to make a move. And it's not going to get done if I don't do it. Like, ain't nobody going to do it for me. Can't nobody do it for me. So, it's a man thing. I just got to get my man right. And I want to learn how to drink more water and um, drink tea and smoothies and stuff. It's just a lot that I want to do. And I've said that I've wanted to do these things over and over and over again. And I've never done them. So, 2019 is the year of no procrastination for me. Literally. Like, and no more excuses. Do what I got to do and get it done. All right, guys, I am officially off work. I am about to go to Walmart so that I can pick up a few items for the boys for school. Um, they like taking Lunchables, even though they can get lunch at the school. They don't like the lunch most of the time. Officially made it inside Walmart. I'm about to go pick out some stuff for me and the guys. And... Let's go. I actually was trying to find me a cute hat to fit on top of all this hair, but I cannot find one. Like, none of these hats will fit me. They don't have enough stretch in them. Not to go on my head. Even these little cheap ones, and they're not cute. And I don't like wearing those little, I don't like wearing those little ear things, so I don't even bother with those. But anyway, can't find a hat, so I can scratch that off the list. So I can't go to Walmart without coming down this aisle right here and in this section. So I came to get moisturizer for the boys, and they don't seem to have it. So I guess we're just going to go and get some lunch stuff because I can't find, like, the hair moisturizer and stuff. Like, they don't have any. Not the one that I use. So I guess we're just going to head on over to groceries. Because they don't have what I need on this side of the store. without coming to this owl either. I want to try this. I want 
this, but I don't want to buy it. I just don't want to spend seven dollars. I'm cheap. All right, guys, I am officially back in the car from Walmart. I tried to vlog as much as I can, but everybody was staring at me and I was looking like I was talking to myself. So, <laughs> I don't know how good the footage is going to come out. It'll be before this that I'm talking about right now, but I don't know how good the footage is going to come out, but I tried to vlog while I was in there. But people were staring at me and I was like embarrassed. So, um, I picked up a few things. I ended up spending $30 that I did not go in there to spend. I literally went in there to get Lunchables for the boys and some hair stuff. And they didn't even have my hair stuff. So, I'm on my way home to my babies. I haven't seen them since this morning. Um, and I'm going home to go cook, straighten up a little bit, edit some vlogs, and just relax for the rest of the day. All right, guys, I have officially made it in the house. I'm so excited, but I'm not excited because I still have plenty of work to do. So I'm about to pin this. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I pineapple my hair. Look at my one day curls. They looking cute. I had this old Caucasian man, like old Caucasian man, really nice, elegant gentleman come up to me like he stopped me today at work. And he was like, excuse me. And I'm like, yes, I thought he needed help. He was like, your hair is so gorgeous. And then I was like, thank you. It is so nice for people to give you compliments. But you know what kills me though? Is that um, a lot of oh, Caucasian people, they always compliment me on my hair and then they ask, is it yours? Every black person, guys, I'm not racist because my kids are mixed, but every black person um, does not wear weave. Yes, this is my hair. Yes, this is my hair. But I thank you guys for the compliments. But I'm about to show you guys how to put my hair in this pineapple. Oh my God, this is my sister Carla. Let me answer. What it is, yo? What's up? Hey, my poot. Hey, handsome. Give me kiss, poot. Hey, Aaliyah. So for today's dinner, I'm grilling some chicken. I'm using this flat skillet again. Then I'm going to make my own chips. I cut up tortillas. I'm going to put it in this cooking oil. But look at this, guys. Aga on the guac. Aga, you on the guac? He ain't finished yet. But he already made. Let's see what he already made. He already made pickle de gallo. He's going to add a little bit to the guac, and it's about to be amazing. And he also made, what else you make? Tuna, but it's in the fridge already. Tuna is in the fridge already. Yep. Um, You want to give anybody any tips on how to make the best guac in the world? Any tips? He already adding the lime. What else is going to put in there? I can tell you guys how to do it, but it's just practice, pretty much. Practice makes practice perfect. Practice makes perfect, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Let's see, uh, let's see you put some um, pickle de gallo up in there. Add a little bit of this to the guac. Oh, my God, it's amazing. So you're going to add a little pickle de gallo to the guac? You don't want, you don't want too much water in there. Okay, he said he don't want too much water in the guac from the pickle de gallo. I'm gonna drain a little bit. So you already had a lime put the pickle de gallo. It's so fat, y'all. But let me go back to the chips because my grease getting hot. It looks really hot actually. So I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna test it out. One of those and I'm gonna all right, all right. Actually that was two. Starting to cook. Okay. I'll just drop a couple in at a time. Chicken still over there cooking. Chips are cooking. Trying to make sure they don't stick together. That's enough in there for now. I normally buy chips, but today I bought tortillas. I'm going to make my own chips. All right, guys, this is how the chips turned out. Oh, my God, look at them. They look so good, y'all. I'm ready to devour them. I'm looking, taking them already. All right, guys, so as I was saying before, I got a phone call. I was supposed to put this hair up 
or show you guys how I put this hair in a pineapple. I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up. It looks so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in a pineapple. When I, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I put it in a pineapple. So, I take a scrunchie. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to pull all my hair forward like this. <laughs> And then I'm going to put my scrunchie on. And yes, I have some shorties hanging out in the back because I had an underclub. So not all of it's going to fit up there. But you guys get the picture. And that's how I do my time out. All right, guys. I have officially been sitting on this couch for a few hours now. I came straight in this door, started cooking. And I, as you can see, I still have on this makeup. I put my hand in this pineapple, but I still have my makeup. So I'm literally about to go in the shower, take this makeup off, and get in the bed. I am so tired. Um, but I'm actually on the computer right now. I was editing a vlog. So I'm on the computer right now. I was editing a vlog. And I just got so tired. Like, I can't even finish the vlog. So I'm going to try to finish it tomorrow.